Okay, so what does it mean if you can't tolerate melatonin? If you take even a tiny bit of melatonin, like one milligram, two milligrams, and you are wired, and you've been affected by mold, what that means is you really, really need it. You're so deficient that once you get that brain antioxidant in there, your brain can light up and work again. So the solution is not to avoid taking it, <laughs> All the solution is to create your own melatonin by getting outside early in the morning. That helps make your own melatonin. Um, but it's usually a sign that your brain then needs the next step nutrient, which is phospholipids. Phosphatidylserine, phosphatidylcholine. A lot of my patients who've been affected by mold are really low in those. So when they get that little bit of brain antioxidant, melatonin, all of a sudden the brain wants to go. And if it doesn't have enough of the next step, then you get wired instead of sleepy. So for my patients who've been affected by mold, we normalize their phospholipids and we start again with teeny tiny doses, which is why I like liquid liposomal. Liquid because you can really titrate the doses, liposomal because it gets up into the brain faster. So that's my little tip. If you're a melatonin wired person <laughs> and you've been affected by mold, that's probably what's going on. So you can conquer mold and take back your health.